with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha Pule, happy Sunday. We made it to the new week. These winds will continue to breeze us into the days ahead of us, but we are going to start to see a weakening trend with the winds. It's going to start slightly, but we're going to end up losing those trades by the ending of this week. Taking a look at Ko'olau here on Oahu, pretty much all windward areas. We're looking to start off the day with more damp conditions, and those rain chances look to be dwindling down to more scattered showers throughout the afternoon, leaving leeward areas for the most part, mainly isolated showers but as long as we have these gusty winds to potentially push a lot of that moisture over the mountaintops, they could anticipate some uh, shower activity during the morning and evening hours as well. But thanks to the winds, we still have high threats for our ocean conditions in addition to the wind advisory that continues across all the islands. That's up until at least tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. All islands with the exception of Lanai, they're going to be seeing almost single digits for uh, tomorrow. High surf advisory for north, east, and some west-facing shores, small craft advisory and gale warning all taking us in through tomorrow. So with the surf heights, we are seeing some uh, a nice little bump up again for the north facing shores. We're seeing up to 18 footers again, up to 12 footers for the west facing shores along with the east. One to three remain down on the south, but we do have box jellyfish at least for another day or so before they swim back down into deeper waters. Now what's taking place north of the islands is one reason why we're going to be beginning this weakening trend of our winds. It's due to another cold front or this uh, next cold front that looks to be passed passing north of the islands, but we have this counterclockwise motion. This is a high pressure system that will be weakening and moving further away. And that's going to be resulting in another day tomorrow with up to around 30 miles per hour in terms of sustained winds. As we get into Tuesday, passing through the middle of the week, that's going to come down to more breezier conditions, 15 up to 25. Unfortunately, it looks to be around Aloha Friday. We're going to start to lose those trade winds with more southeasterlies, and that's going to be taking us into next weekend. In terms of the shower activity, again, mainly for the morning and the evening hours. For the windward sides, we expect at least for tomorrow the greatest chance of showers. Again, looking to be more likely during the morning, uh, more scattered throughout the afternoon. But as we get into Tuesday, moving through the middle of the week into the latter portion, we ain't going to be seeing too much moisture coming through. We're really going to see mostly dry conditions. But uh, in terms of for tomorrow, we can expect most of that cloud coverage to remain. Good news, that's going to start to thin out as we head into the days ahead of us as well. So again, for tomorrow morning, we're seeing up to around 100% chance of rain for all the windward areas. As we get into tomorrow afternoon, those numbers dwindle down. We're going to see more sunshine, especially for leeward and southerly areas of the islands. Windward sides, we may continue to see mostly cloudy skies. The good news, though, with all this rain that has been coming through with the past storm systems, we're down to around 32% in terms of drought conditions. That's really for a little portion of Maui and for half of Hawaii Island. Good news, or even better news, Lahaina is finally out of that drought conditions. Now, in terms of the winds, again, we're going to be getting into the days ahead of us with a little notch down of more breezier winds. Unfortunately, lose those trades for Aloha Friday. Variable conditions take us into next weekend.